Hey Nikki, day two in our place. Happy Mother's Day, baby. Love you. Look at here. Look at here. You remember I told you about Aaron and Tasha? They live downstairs in the unit down there, and we're working on getting them up here across from us. Okay. Um, you'll see why when you get here. Uh, at any rate, check this out. What they just hooked me up with. Huh? Is that all right? Look at that, man. That makes my recliner look like a piece of junk. I mean, that thing is beautiful. Look at this. Huh? Look at that. It's like brand new, man. It's like brand new. I mean, it's a little faded and you know, a little, but God, look at it. Plush, plush, comfortable. I finally have a place now, after a couple of days of not being able to put my feet up, I finally can put my feet up and put some ice on them. Ha ha ha! Glorious day! Glorious day! Anyway, uh, look here. I got uh, Clyde all set up. And, you know, I still have things to straighten out, you know. There's my samurai sword. That's actually called a Bushido blade. Okay, um... Tripods. I finally found my tripods. <laughs> um, you know, I, I got these racks here. I'm going to put them up. Eventually, what I'm going to do here, Nikki, is I'm going to make a, a custom-built computer station right here. Built into the wall. Hey, Dr. Narana said make it your home, right? Okay, we'll make it our home, baby. Custom-built computer station right here, okay, with the surround sound system. All right, there's Clyde, uh, everything. I still have to put my uh, light scribe together and put it up, get it up there. All right, there's our fish tank slot. <laughs> no fish tank yet. Um, and basically, you know, I got the TV set up right here um, on this table for now, but that table's not going to stay there, I don't think. Unless you like it. I mean, if you like that, we can keep it there. But I'm thinking that I might just build a custom-built TV center right there on the wall. You know, shelf and everything with a with a book bookshelf underneath it. And, you know, you, you got to have your library, right, baby? So we're going to have, a, you know, put the TV there with a, a nice little library there. And uh, we can always... You can always do something in here too, you know. There's this this whole closet right here is a coat closet, but we can either use it as a coat closet or we can turn it into something else. It doesn't really matter. Um, right there, we can put some stuff. There's there's a something in the basement that I saw, and if I can figure out who it belongs to, if it belongs to anybody, because I'm finding out there's a bunch of stuff here left from previous tenants. That nobody owns. So, um, like that chair, nobody owns it till now. Now we own it, baby. <laughs> and we didn't pay nothing for it either. It's how about that? See, who needs money, right? <laughs> who needs money? All you got to do is do a good deed, and it comes back to you. You know, God takes care of those that take care of everybody else. You know. Um, I'm just cruising. I'm, I'm blabbing. These are empty boxes. I just need to get them out of here. Uh, this is garbage in here, you know. I've been just mainly just throwing the garbage in there for now until I'm all done unpacking. Okay, once I'm all done unpacking, then, and, huh, look at the bed. <laughs> Holy shit. See, but see, this is all stuff that I was doing today. You know, and this is just blankets and clothes, you know, that needs to be folded and put away. And Aaron, Aaron and Tasha, they're giving us a, a microwave. They're giving us a microwave. They're giving us a dresser that we can put in here. Uh, they've offered us a couch, a long couch to put under the window, which I think would be really cool. And, and we're going to go ahead and do that. You know, a long couch there, then we move the recliner over just a little bit over here. And, uh, so we 
Sweetie, we're getting set up here. We're getting we're getting really rock and roll, rock and roll, baby. Um, I mean, it's a mess right now. It's a mess, okay? But right now, it's I've got so much going on that it's hard to uh, get any one thing accomplished, okay? But <laughs> I do want to show you something, though. See? <laughs> I'm going to put that right there at your height. You're five foot four, so I'm going to put your the top of your head at five foot four, and every time I come around this corner, I'm going to see my Niki sitting there looking at me. <laughs> or I might put you right here, where when I walk around this corner, I can do this. Just like that. <laughs> so, but anyway, we're getting there, you know. We're getting there. I've already eaten two meals here. Last night had hamburgers and french fries. This morning I had eggs and bacon. So, yeah, it's not very healthy. I don't have my grits though. I didn't have any grits. Um, also, I was looking around in here and it's funny. You never know exactly what you're going to find in it. In, a, in an apartment that you're moving into you know we went all out my parents got us a brand new coffee maker beautiful if you if you haven't noticed I've gone basically black okay with everything you see this is all brand new stoneware baby brand new see here brand new stoneware uh, what is it mainstays mainstays home <laughs> okay anyway that's all brand new stoneware you know and uh, then this, these here you know these are plastic but and they're microwave safe which is cool you know and that's that's colorful like a rainbow that's the only colorful thing in the kitchen <laughs> but see I I'm, I'm not one that likes to really like, oh, well, this pink goes with that, yellow, and brown goes with tan, and, you know, black and white goes with everything, <laughs> you know, so, and I prefer black, so I went with black with everything, you know, um, even to the knives here, that's, you know, we went black with that, now, the only thing I couldn't go black with was the, the uh, flatware, you know, I had to go white with that, because they didn't have a, a black set, but I wanted to go black, but that's the way it was. That's, so, but, you know, white goes with black and everything else, too. So, and, uh, oh, baby. Oh, baby, I can't wait for you to come up here. Oh, I don't know when you're going to be able to come. I just hope that I can get everything all set and ready before you do. I think I will. I think I can get everything all done before you're here. Um... I just want you to be able to walk in here and say, I'm home and be comfortable with that, you know, and, uh, oh, Tasha and, and, uh, uh, Tasha and Aaron are such cool people, baby. Oh, wait till you meet them. Uh, wait till you meet these people. They're so cool. Uh, they're having me down for lentils tonight. And uh, lentils and something else. I forget what's on the menu. But they've invited me for supper down. You know, and that's cool. And uh, I've given them some meat. And, you know, they've traded some things with me. And I've traded some things with them. And holy cow, baby, this is this is working out so good. But uh, the one thing we, we want to do, we're talking about, is trying this girl that lives across this the the hallway from us <sighs> that's a mystery that's a that's a mystery um she's never there okay um now from what they have seen of her before uh, uh she's a very rowdy hell raising kind of person uh you know and um it's I hate to say this, but sweetie, they had a racket going on here with babies, okay? Uh, the way they explain it is that it was, um, you know, lesbian couples uh, living together, and they would go out and pick out a man, uh, have sex with them one night when they knew they were ready to, to take seed, okay, and get pregnant, and then stick that man with alimony. 
you know, that, that's so sad, you know, and using babies, you know, and, and that's all right. They're going to, they'll get what, what, what they deserve one of these days. I just, I hope that the kids born of this kind of thing uh, in, in like that, or, uh, I hope they end up okay, you know, because that's, that's the worst thing right there. But, uh, ah, mittens. He's breaking in the chair. Have you found something to scratch on, huh, kid? Mittens, where'd you go? Mittens, where are you? Are you underneath the chair? Where are you? You are. You're underneath. <laughs> what are you doing under there, kid? Huh? What are you doing under there, kid? You're down there scratching up the chair is what you're doing. <laughs> He's... He's still not quite settled. I mean, he's happy. He's happy, uh, and he's looking around, and he's playing and everything like that. But every once in a while, when it goes quiet in here, you see the hackles come up on his head there, and he starts looking around like, where am I, you know? <laughs> he'll, he'll, uh, he'll be all right, though. Yeah, I mean, the, the more time goes on, the more comfortable he'll get, you know? Um, eventually, I'm going to make it so that he can go outside. Yes, I am. I'm going to make it so you can go outside, kid. But I want him I want him to be uh, comfortable here first. You know, I want him to uh, to know where home is, you know. So that means being here in this apartment for at least one week. All right. Once he's been here in this apartment for at least one week, then we'll talk about making a way for him to go outside. Okay. Uh, the unfortunate thing about that is the kids downstairs that I told you about, uh, they, I'm told, are uh, abusive towards animals. I would hate to see RB, I mean, uh, Mittens get hurt in any way. Um, I don't want to, you know strong arm anybody i don't want to you know come in here and see my bus boss 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 you know but if if i find out that uh, mittens is being hurt mm, there's gonna be trouble i'm sorry <laughs> uh, but anyway i'm just fixing to go take a bath because i have about two hours before supper is ready downstairs i guess and uh so i'm just gonna uh, I'm going to close it up for now. Go take me a bath, okay? I love you, sweetie. Happy Mother's Day. My queen, Nikki.